We made it on the train. She said something about the being rice and the but uh, there is. We just arrived at the Guangzhou train station. So it's time to get on the subway and get to our hostel. Ready? Yes. Okay, let's go. Tokens. just checked in to our hostel in Guangzhou and it is much bigger than our last one. We each got our own bed. It is really hot. Like we arrived in the evening and, it, and you can already feel the humidity and the heat. So I can't imagine what it's going to be like in the in the daytime. The forecast is like 30 degrees. Good morning from Guangzhou or Guangzhou. So this is the third largest city in China after Beijing and Shanghai. And it's also the city that used to be called Canton. So a lot of the people here speak the Cantonese dialect. So today we're actually not exploring Guangzhou. We're actually going to take a train to Shenzhen, uh, which is the home of Huawei and DJI and a bunch of like tech companies. So it's nicknamed China's Silicon Valley. So we just got off the subway in Shenzhen. I'm gonna get you some coffee, right? Yes. Yeah. So apparently it's a pretty like artsy kind of area, a hip area. So we'll just go check that out. So unfortunately, the coffee place that Alex is looking for <laughs> moved. We found some other drinks and it's a neat little area. It's pretty quiet. It's got lots of greenery and some like art exhibitions that are free and some just like restaurants and shops. We've just stopped for a quick lunch break and I've got these curry fishbowl rice. Look at this. I'm noticing a lot of palm trees here, <laughs> which is nice. <laughs> so the main reason we're here in Shenzhen is to check out some of the cool techie stuff. So they've got the largest, the world's largest electronics market here in the Hua Chang Bay. So we're gonna go find that. Daphne. So we just finished at the markets and so the first one we looked at 
just looked at a bunch of stuff but we didn't really get anything and then we found another one that sold phone cases because Alex is looking for a phone case and uh, we finally found one. Happy every clay. <laughs> it's pretty cute so yeah pretty happy with that and, and what does it say in Mandarin? Well it says happy every day so every day every day <laughs> it feels pretty cool it feels and really cool here it's like uh, really alive it's like modern I guess yeah. it feels modern it is techie yeah. Super tacky. Pretty cool. Everyone's riding around on electric scooters. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning from Guangzhou day two. Today we are meeting up with an old friend of mine. I went to high school and I went to university with her, um, but then she moved back to China. So she's working here now, but we're gonna meet up with her and she's gonna show us around Guangzhou. First thing that we're gonna be doing is going to get some dim sum. So the Cantonese are known for the dim sum. Dim sum literally means to touch the heart and it's basically little steamer baskets of food that you have with tea. We are at uh, uh, Xiamian Island, is that right? In the 1800s, this area was divided into two parts, French concession and the English concession, so you can see the European-influenced buildings here. It's really nice. So Sarah has also recommended a dessert place to us and we've ordered one regular one and one with red bean. It's called double skin milk. We'll find out what that is. So we have a regular double skin milk and a red bean double skin milk. So Alex says it kind of tastes like a creme brulee, which I totally agree with, but like a less sweet version of a creme brulee.
We're not getting on this train. No chance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's the one. Well, that was the real squish life right on the train. Did you enjoy that? Squish, saying it's nice being told of everyone else. Yeah, his head was sticking out above like everybody else so he could see everyone. We are here at the Chen Clan Academy. It's our last morning here in Guangzhou. So this is our last stop before we leave Guangzhou. This place was built by the members of the Chen family during the Qing Dynasty. There were 72 counties of the Chen clan in the Guangdong province. So this is a place where they could all come to study or just to stay or business, um, pay respect to their ancestors. <laughs> 